have no problem. That's, I'm not complaining. I've said they've gone to court, but I'm going to call them out that I know you. <laughs> I know the fellows who are going to court. I know the fellows who are sponsoring this because I know them. They, they will not hide because I can see their fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. I told the people of Kenya that uh, we need to increase our savings as a percentage of our GDP, that we are doing very badly. Countries like China are at 55 percent. We are at 12, right? How do we build our savings? You know, there are characters who went to court to, to say, let us continue paying 200 shillings, you know? And then Kenya is rated among the last countries on age-old uh, poverty, you know? Because if you save 200 shillings, uh, fuller, how much money, <laughs> surely? We have so many people. Who, and that is how we do not have a pool of resources in Kenya that we can use to drive our own development. That's why we go borrowing left, right, and center. So we went to court, right? They went to court. I mean, we passed the law, 2014. They went to court. They stole the thing, nine years, imagine, taking us from one courtroom to another. Then I called them and I told them, look at me in the eye, my friends. You have to stop this shit. You have to stop, sorry, you have to stop this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it cannot continue like this, <laughs> right? And they realized that I was not joking, you know? So we agreed on an out-of-court settlement because they knew very well that they were beneficiaries of this whole conundrum. Mm -hmm. What has happened? Just let me tell you. We have wasted nine years. What has happened today is that we were collecting about 1.3 billion at NSSF. Today, we are collecting 6.5 billion every month at NSSF. We are going to double, Sam, we are going to double the amount of money in our savings in the next four years, just as I told the country. You know, that is transformative. But it has taken some, you know, tough engagement with corrupt people, yes. you know, telling them it cannot continue like this. And, and I know uh, um, when, when I believe this is the right thing, I go out of my way. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I have been elected by ordinary people. They cannot do what I can do. They have given me the opportunity to do it for them. Right. So, so that we can begin even, the, the moment we have savings, we can even begin to reduce interest rates because we are talking about our own money. Right. We're not looking for money from other countries. Mr. President. Is this how we're going to transform Kenya? Mr. President, it's been two hours. Ladies my, and my water is drained. Please sip yours as we transition to the next um, conversation, which is on governance yeah. issues, and Grace is going to take us through that. Right, Mr. President, and this is basically point blank. Are you concerned about the performance of some of the people working under you, in particular cabinet secretaries. Um, you, we, we, we saw you um, say that some CSs and PSs are clueless about their dockets sometime back this year. And uh, there was this report released by TIFA just about two days ago, which placed some five CSs at the bottom. And unfortunately, these five are part or are at the heart of Kenya's economy, energy CS was at the bottom. Gender CS, Treasury CS, Water CS, Land CS. Are you concerned about their performance and what are you intending to do about it, Mr. President? Number one, I don't believe in TIFA. Why don't you? Because TIFA is a fraud. TIFA and all these opinion poll people, they are paid. By who? Whoever, whoever pays them. Because but you just said they, they, told us, they told us many stories. If it was Tifa, I would not be president. They said I would never win. They, they made all manner of allegations. So please, let's not talk about opinion polls. Let's not talk about Tifa. And I have no quarrel with them. Which is okay. Let's go to the performance. Minus Tifa. Yeah. But we can see the no, results. No, let, let, let. We can see the results because... Let's go, um, let's go to... Let's, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm saying we can see the results. We, you have dismissed T-Fire, but say energy, which is at the bottom. 
this is definitely here because of the frequent power outages that have been experienced in the country. Mm. So it has to be true. It is not true. Uh, let me tell you that, uh, yes, we've had uh, about four different blackouts. And there is a reason for it, you know. And I want to tell the people of Kenya that, uh, there's, yes, there's a problem. The problem is not about generation, because we have enough, uh, we have enough power in the grid. The problem is about investment. We haven't invested in our transmission lines and distribution lines in the last eight years. Why haven't we invested? We didn't have a plan, number one, a clear plan. And where we had a plan, many things went wrong. For example, the three or four- Stories are 254. And you're watching Stories are 254. Check the wiki.